what if I did the video like this all that? Ah, my May favorite. category is a must to have in the month of May, my favorite clothing items. And now since I do work full time in a business casual professional office environment, um, I have to dress business appropriate all the time, which does suck. But it does kind of not suck on the other hand because you feel like mature, you feel like adult, you're ready to take on the world um, <laughs> when you're all like dressed up professional. But Sometimes it can be uncomfortable, especially since it's beginning to get summer. Um, being dressed up in like button-down shirts, blazers, pants, trousers, things like that, heels all the time. Um, you need to find pieces that really, really work for you and are comfortable. So you can work your whole shift, eight-hour shift, feeling comfortable. And one of these pieces, one of my favorites, are these trousers. Now you can't really see the details on them, um, they just have pockets on the back. These are from Gap, um, and so if you are a working girl out there, working guy as well, you need to check out these Gap trousers. And I would just recommend in general checking out Gap's pants. They are on the pricier side, but as long as you find a good coupon discount code, um, they're very affordable. And what I love most about these pants is they come in a wide array of sizes as well as the fact that they have um, petite, regular, long, and extra long inseams, which I'm a very tall girl, so I need long or extra long pants. And being able to have trousers um, that actually fit me in length, especially when I'm wearing heels, is super, super amazing. And now these particular pants, these black trousers, I have them in gray as well. Um, they're super nice. Um, yeah, since they're black, you can't really see anything, but they're light, they're so comfortable, they're very, very flattering, and these are called the Gap Favorite Trouser, because guess what? They're everyone's favorite, um, even if you read the reviews online, everyone absolutely loves these pants. They're light, comfortable, um, professional, cute, flattering everything you would want in a pair of trousers. Um, so definitely if you're looking for a nice pair of pants, even for school, like nice events that you have to go to, concerts, um, interviews, anything, check these pants out. Um, I actually got them 40% off at Gap, which makes them, I think they were like $35. And for a nice pair of pants, that's very, very affordable. Um, so I love, love, love these Gap trousers. Item is these sweatpants from can you guess Hollister and I know Hollister's not that cool anymore even though in middle school if you did not have Hollister clothes you were so not cool Hollister was the it thing and so <laughs> like once you get on high school you're like I don't wear Hollister anymore Ugh, that's so middle school but you know you gotta give things a chance again. And so <laughs> Hollister was having a sale, and so I picked up these sweatpants. You can see the little birdie. <laughs> but I picked up these sweatpants um, because they were really cute and I love their colors. And these are actually boy sweatpants, but I'm a tall girl, I'm a I got some meat on me and I like to have baggy sweatpants. I don't like yoga pants. I don't like skin tight sweatpants. I like to have some room in there to move and be comfortable. And these sweatpants are absolutely amazing. They're my all time favorite sweats. I mean look at this color. It's so cute. Um, and these sweatpants are appropriate. I mean like you can sleep in them and then wake up and then go run errands in them. That's how cute they are. You know they're not like the raggedy old paint covered ripped holes not cute pajama pants like these sweats are super cute i wear them out all the time when i'm running errands or just bumming around the house um these hollister sweats are my favorite i have a couple colors as well as my mom has some and my brother has some because they're so amazing if you are looking for a cute pair of sweats um don't us underestimate don't underestimate Hollister sweatpants.
is what I'm trying to say. <laughs> Give them a chance. You may love them. You may hate them. But, I mean, I love these Hollister sweatpants, so definitely check them out. I mean, if you're going to the mall, go into Hollister. Put a gas mask on, obviously, because they spray way too much perfume, cologne, whatever. But it is well worth it because these sweats are awesome. <laughs> and those were the two clothing items that I've been loving in the month of May. I've had a couple beauty favorites and now I basically I'm gonna admit it I had a shopping addiction a makeup shopping addiction last year and so this year I literally have been trying not to buy makeup at all because first of all I spent way too much money I have a desk full of makeup now that I spent all this money on so I'm trying not to buy any new makeup I'm trying to use what I have um, so I, I can admit I literally had a makeup shopping addiction, <laughs> but I've been so much better this year. I only buy things when I actually need it or if I run out, things like that. But this makeup product I've had for quite some time and at first I actually didn't like it, but I gave it a couple more tries and now it's my go-to bronzer. This is the Balm's Bahama Mama Bronzer. Yeah. Not only is their packaging super adorable, super unique, um, their products, mostly their cheek products are my favorites. I definitely recommend the cheek products, the blushes, the bronzers, the highlighters. Um, you can see it's just a very bronze color um, and it's very light. You can swipe it on your cheeks or you can go on with a denser brush and cake that on. Personally, I love a deep blonde Personally, I love a nice bronze cheek blushed up. I go overboard, but I don't even care because that's what I like. Um, so I'm loving, loving, loving this bronzer. Um, it's my go-to, as well as the fact that you can own, you can also use this on your cheeks, on your eyeshadow, eyeliner. You can go ham with this thing. I absolutely love the bronzer. So check it out if you're looking for a bronzer. This is the Balm's Bahama Mama. Bronza. And along with that, my other favorite and go-to beauty item is the Beauty Blender Original. It's dirty right now. <laughs> but this Beauty Blender is the original, the pink kind. Um, I've got the other types, but I do not like them. I like the pink original. And the Beauty Blender makes applying your foundation so much easier. It blends it out flawlessly. And especially when you're getting ready in the morning, um, you don't want to spend 10 minutes putting your foundation on. So you just dab this on, dab it all over your face, blend it out. It's just amazing. If you have not checked out the Beauty Blender, or if you've had the generic Beauty Blenders, which don't work, I've tried those, and then I splurged and did get the original Beauty Blender, um, my life has been changed. It is a gift sent from the heavens above. I absolutely love these and I would recommend the Beauty Blender to anyone and everyone who wears foundation um, and who likes a flawlessly blended face. People wonder why I cannot eat healthy because I go downstairs for five freaking seconds and my dad brought home pizza and garlic bread, okay? You're not a human if you can resist garlic bread or pizza. I try to eat healthy, but I just can't because things like this. So now I'm going to take a break and eat my garlic bread. But back to the favorites. My last beauty favorites for the month of May, and my last favorites in general, are these products that I actually got because of YouTube. <laughs> Again, YouTube. <laughs> these were actually recommended by my girl Megan Rosette. And these were actually in her favorites, so I had to pick them up. And now I absolutely love these. I love the smell. These are the L'Oreal Paris Advanced Hair um, Total Repair 5 Restoring Conditioner and Shampoo. Not only do these make your hair feel super soft, super smooth, they smell really good. And what I love most about the smell, 
Don't you wish? They need to make a technology where you can smell through the camera. But trust me, these smell super good. And what I love most about them is the fact that when you dry your hair or when you let it air dry, the next morning, you can still smell the shampoo fa fragrance, which I personally really like. Um, I hate when shampoos smell really good in the shower, but then you get out and it's like, where did that smell go? It's literally nothing there. It just smells like hair. But these actually, the smell stays with you, um, so your hair smells delicious for a couple days. <laughs> so I do Definitely recommend trying these out. I'm definitely going to be repurchasing these. This is a small bottle because I wasn't sure if I'd like it. But there's a big bottle at Target. I even saw it. I didn't buy it yet because I knew I need to finish these first. But I will be rebuying these. And who knows, these may become my absolute favorite, favorite, favorite shampoo and conditioner. Because I love the smell. I love how it cleans my hair. How it makes my hair fill. So I'll keep you updated on my shampoo and conditioning regimen. And then along with that, um, she recommended, Megan recommended the L'Oreal Paris Total 5 Repair Damage Erasing Balm. This goes on two to three times a week, um, one to two if you have oily hair. I was going to say if you have oily skin. No, this does not go on your skin. It does go on your hair. And so you'd use the shampoo and then you use the balm um, and you just... Rub it in your hands, wipe it all over, focus it on the ends mostly, and then let it sit, I think for, leave in for five, three to five minutes and then rinse out. And apparently it says, reverses damage to hair smoothness with daily use when using the system of shampoo and balm, um, repairs up to one year of damage in one use. That means if you use this five times, you'll have five years of repair done to your hair. I don't actually believe that, but it does make your hair feel really nice when you get out of the shower. Um, it again smells really good. It smells just like the shampoo and conditioner. And I just really enjoy, which is funny because I actually don't have many products from L'Oreal. Um, it's just not a brand at the drugstore that I usually pick up, but I'm happy I took a chance with these L'Oreal Total Repair 5 items. I super, super duper love them. <laughs> I super duper duper love them. Perfect. All right, so we're at the end of my favorites for May. Um, I didn't really purchase many things because like I said, I'm trying to recover from the shopping addiction that I previously had. So I only buy things when I need them or when I really, really, really want them. <laughs> Let's be honest. But I hope you enjoyed the video. I hope you try out some of my favorites. I, anything I mentioned in this video, I completely recommend to you um, to try out. If they weren't, I would not have mentioned them. If they weren't great, I would not have mentioned them. So I thank you guys for watching the video, putting up with my shenanigans. If you do, let me know down below. And if you liked it, if you enjoyed them, um, let me know. I love feedback and comments. And if you liked the video, subscribe to see more in the future. I'm